So what's going on toxic gamers so while the bbc samurai situation was calming down apparently we got black myth wukong now this game is waging wildfires all because these seconds over at black myth wukong refuse to make their monkey look like this yeah and, and seconds are going crazy right now seconds are memeing the living crap out of it like this is pe what people are making on the internet right they them kong uh you got non-binary myth they them kong and yeah it's that's what's going on like the video if you think they're two genders even for the monkeys dislike the video if you think they're five thousand genders and shout out to the homie hypnotic because apparently game science the game devs behind this monkey game the black myth wukong game right they came out and they said that no longer we refuse this we refuse this somebody need to call in PETA immediately okay we need PETA to uh, protest against uh for the animal rights against sweet baby inc immediately okay guys put your seatbelts on uh oh roll it guys are aware black myth wukong's developer game science has been under fire by the mainstream gaming industry for a few months now ever yeah. since the whole allegation came out from good old ign rebecca valentine who decided to uh mistranslate certain things from the developer purposefully mind you she didn't she didn't accidentally do it she 100 purposely mistranslated the information and tried to paint this picture of yeah, sex uh, i mean they are always like we do not make mistakes we are dad's princess if i want bbl i'll get bbl <laughs> I mean, misogyny from game science well you know they've been attacked left and right there's no doubt about it but game science is not backing down because now apparently they are banning content creators from including politics and feminist propaganda Woo! yeah baby that's what i'm waiting for that's what it's all about no there's no way when it comes to black myth wukong and rightfully so man it's amazing how I never in my dreams could imagine a day where games urinalists will make you want to side with actual communists, right? Like, I just, I, it normally, like, China would be the one where people are like, oh, they're communists, I'm not siding with them. But gaming urinalists are so terrible that people would rather side with the actual communists because they're just trying to make a good game. And again, whether it's funded by actual CCP, that's that's a whole nother fucking story. I'm not yeah. even going to bother getting to the, into that. Ultimately, when you have to decide between games urinalists and communists making a video game, it's so sad that most people will actually pick the communists. So let's Let's get into this article, guys, from that part. <laughs> yes, seconds are like, okay, well, uh, you know, you got communists and you got woke communists, okay? Let, 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 forget about that, okay? We gotta stop the woke communists. That's where everybody's at. But, like, think about it rationally. It's rationally, right? Like, damn. They just didn't made a pink monkey, and they're mad about that. They're like, hey, we need the pink monkey, right? And Tebow apparently made this meme, they them Kong. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine this was uh, in Black Myth Wukong. Like, well, how would you react? How would you react if this was real, guys? Like, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, imagine they actually did that. Oh, man. I I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna mod it and somebody's gonna make that in the game. It's gonna be hilarious. But, but like, it it's it's crazy. It is crazy as to what's going on right now, man. Place, but, of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Yeah, like and subscribe. So it says, like Black Myth subscribe, Wukong like subscribe, developer yeah. Game Science has reportedly banned content creators who were given a game key from including politics and feminist propaganda, amongst other things in their content surrounding the game. That's incredible. And you know what? It makes a lot of sense sense it makes a lot of sense because uh when you look at the reviews from ign when you look at the reviews from screen rant when you look at what uh, the reviews from tech radar none of them can interject feminism or any kind of political speak in those reviews they actually hmm. seemed pretty damn vague aside from the one from screen rant which talked about the lack of inclusivity and diversity but aside from that i really don't think that falls under that anyway they are banning people from saying certain things related and, and because of that they gave this game like six out of ten right and, and could, could you imagine right could you imagine I'm trying to be objective here. What if the game is at really 6 out of 10? B by the looks of it, it is not. We, we have to play to find out, right? By the looks of it, it's not. But they gave it 6 out of 10. But the reason, one of the reasons they gave it 6 out of 10 was not because, like, the game sucks or graphics sucks, gameplay sucks, story sucks, or lack of uh, progression or lack of character arc or, you know, you know, the stuff that matters or crazy amount of microtransactions therefore you know the game sucks right they mentioned none of that what did they mention they said that there isn't like enough diversity <laughs> there isn't enough inclusivity there isn't enough diversity for modern audience they did not specifically said modern audience but that's exactly what they <laughs> that's what they mean man it is insane wow how did we get here the game if the game sucks 
the game sucks, but if the game is good, the game is good. Why you? Why? Why, yeah, no. why does diversity matters? And to be fair, though, this game got a lot of diversity. You're watching the gameplay. Look at that. We got watermelon. We got a kid eating watermelon there. We got a monkey. We got trees in this game. We got lions. We got tigers. We got elephants. We got like uh, flying uh, bees, uh, mosquitoes, and crap like that. There, there's so much like different animals, uh, species in the game. Uh, put in the game. Look, look at that. So he can also transform as well. So my guys are transformer as well, right? Like, look at that. Damn, there's so much diversity in this game, man. What are we talking about right now, bruh? But of course, it's not this kind of diversity. You know, this is the type of diversity they want. Uh, all I'm saying here, listen, man. I think th the way they can solve this problem, I'm talking about game science, is, is by making the monkey gay. I, I think that's what they want. I think that's what they want because the monkey is not uh, gay or they're not having sex any sort of sexuality put in the game. They're like, hey, how dare they not do that? How dare they not? Nah, bruh, we don't need that. Yeah, let, let games be games, man. Like, they're making games for gamers. Gamers happy. They happy. We happy. Everybody happy, man. Except for them right now. They them are hating right now. It's like, bro, not every game needs to have sexu sexuality put in the game, bro. Some games don't need that. Most games don't need that. I would argue, I would beg to differ. Most games don't need that. Like the video if you agree. But uh oh, wait for it. To that, and I can't blame them. Why would you want that to even be involved in the review for your game? Is beyond me. It has no place in whether or not the game is a good game or what the gameplay is like or the story, whatever. It has literally no place in it. It's just the journalists trying to do what they always do. Yeah. It says a screenshot of what appears to be some content agreement was shared to X by legal analyst Andrew Esquire, aka Legal Mindset. The agreement informs content creators that they cannot insult other influencers or players and that they are not to use any offensive language or humor. It then notes that they cannot include politics, violence, nudity, feminist propaganda, fetishization, and other content that instigates negative discourse. Furthermore, it also bans trigger words such as quarantine or isolation or the coup and prevents creators from discussing content related to China's game industry policies, news, etc. Now, uh, listen, man, Communist Party, right? They're, they're not, like, this is not very shocking okay china is extremely vigilant on what yeah. they do allow and don't allow with their uh, particular content so this is not exactly yeah, yeah, very yeah. shocking to come from a chinese company i just find it to be extremely you know funny that they are banning feminist propaganda from being instituted <laughs> in any kind of review around black myth wupon because you know that's the first thing a lot of these games journalists yeah, are going to want to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it was proven in their reviews when we did a video on screen rant that yeah screen rant the, yeah i was talking about it right the reason they gave it six out of ten was because there's not enough diversity they are uh misogynist and they don't like us getting bbls <laughs> the first thing she wanted to talk about that's almost the only thing she wanted to talk about yeah. because you could tell she kept it all the way to the bottom of the review she didn't want it to be the top of the review right because for obvious reasons most people don't yeah, get yeah. to the bottom of the review but at the bottom of the review she wanted to talk about how there was no female npcs in chapter one and two so what about every other chapter it's funny how you left out every other chapter because you wanted to include in your narrative that the game's not diverse enough in the first two chapters but there's multiple chapters in the game yeah. so what about those w was there female npcs in those or do you not want to just talk about that it's uh, and they also do not want want us to talk about like the right they don't want us to talk about the tick tick ticks i mean to be fair though nobody's really talking about the jabs or the tick tick ticks so that's uh, all right understandable but like damn homie so they really <laughs> yeah man that that's crazy right normally normally if anything like that would happen where you know a company would say hey you don't want to talk about that don't want to talk which is standard though yeah you know what i mean right like most uh, most most of these publishers, whenever they send out early send out early copies for these YouTubers or journalists to review, they always have, hey, talk about this, don't talk about that. It's standard practice, right? But generally speaking, the the audience, uh, the gamers, uh, most people don't see what these uh, reviewers are told to not talk about. This time, I mean, it's getting really, really big. The drama is really getting big that it's coming out. And generally speaking, whenever a publisher will tell you, hey, you don't want to talk about it, and if gamers find out about it, gamers going to be acting like this, though. Gamers going to be like, hey, man, you need to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But, but, but see, now that you actually read what they don't want us to talk about or what they don't want the reviewers to talk about, makes sense though because like they, 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 yeah the game it's a video game right like it's not a politics machine it's not a politics machine bro like like yeah leave the monkey alone leave the monkey alone man let the monkey going crazy in the game let the monkey uh, munch on a banana real quick in the Bruh. game let a monkey just fight like ta -ta -tweet -tweet -ta -ta. like i accidentally hit your guys ears though by the way like, my bad guys my bad my bad all right let's get back to the content here boo, -boo. Incredible to me. It's like a one-sided story. Uh, Blackmyth Wukong and its developers at GameSize have been subject to a smear campaign from numerous media outlets, including IGN, The Guardian, and GameSpot. Now, 
I've said so many times that I, I truly believe, man, these diversity consultancy firms are desperately trying to get their hands on Chinese money. They do not have their hands on Chinese money right now at, at, that I know of anyway. They don't have their hands on it, and they're desperately trying to do it, right? They're trying to extort currently Hoyoverse. They're trying to extort companies like Game Science. They want to get their hands on Chinese money yeah. because it's... Hey, man, can a brother get, like, two Chinese ones or something like that? Yo, how does that work, man? Like, I love this... Yeah, forget about the two pennies, gang. I need my two ones, man. Two ones, gang, rise up. Yeah. I need, I need the two ones, man. Like, look at that, damn, homie. This game looking lit, though. This game really looking lit. And this is why they mad, man. This is why they mad. Peta really need to get involved. Though. Where's Peta? Somebody can, can somebody call Peta? Pink Meta. <laughs> Yeah. Where is the monkey pox? Maybe, maybe yeah, this is why they're mad. Because the monkey in this game doesn't have monkey pox. He doesn't come in with monkey pox. Maybe that's why they're mad. But uh -oh, It's a lot of money. It is untapped potential. It is untapped massive profit that they can garner if they can convince these companies to hire them. This is why, if you look at all the smear campaigns that happened recently, they all seem to be targeting Chinese companies. They all seem to be tar yeah. uh, targeting Chinese developers because it's untapped potential. They desperately want it. It says IGN's Rebecca Valentine and Kiho Chan initially ran an article accusing the developers of sexism. The duo reported several posts have surfaced from Chinese social media Weibo written by individuals from the studio that contain multiple references to genitalia and sexual innuendos. And again, hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi. They purposely mistranslated all, uh, basically all the innuendos that were in that particular thing. They were translating when they reported on it. And Re Bendejo. Rebecca Valentine got called out multiple times by people who know actual Chinese and translated it themselves and purposely shown that she was full of shit. Uh, they also stated that this was coupled by recruitment posters by the studio produced in 2015, which featured images and headlines that point to a culture of ingrained sexism in game science. Now, listen, this company can be completely against feminism. 100%. They could be, they could just not be fans of feminism. And most likely that is true, considering yeah. that it's, again, you know, communist China. It's not exactly very shocking information. But here's the thing, right? Even if I don't agree with some of the notions that they're trying to say at the end of the day, I am not the worldview, right? And this is the problem that a lot of these activists have in the West. And it's particularly here that it's the biggest issue, in my opinion. They have this thing in their mind where they view their worldview as the entire worldview, right? So because they feel a certain way about that one thing, that means that everybody else in the entire fucking planet has to feel the exact same way as they yeah. do. And if you do not feel the exact same way as they do, they will lose their minds. They will mm. do everything possible to try to cancel you. They will try to get you to lose your job, your funding, et cetera, et cetera. They will do everything. Uh, uh, let me just keep a buck 50, man. There are certain things that men are good at, okay? Pure simple. <laughs> Okay, there are certain things men are better at than women, all right? And there are, of course, other things where women are better than men, absolutely, right? Uh, and generally speaking, and by the looks of it, and it always has been like that. It was like mostly the gamer dudes, the gamer bros, were making games for the gamers, right? Most of the games uh, are for g male audience, but surely there are other games that are for females as well. R like, for example, like Candy Crush. Bruh. My mama plays that, okay, my mama plays that. Maybe your mama also plays Candy Crush, and you wanna know who made Candy Crush? Put your seatbelts on, guys. This might be a shocker. Activision Blizzard. Oh shit! Yeah, Dosek is crazy, man. Dosek is crazy. But but yeah, uh, point is that uh, yeah, uh, of course, the female, some females or a lot of females are also gonna play this game. They're gonna love it. Few might hate it too, or maybe some of them gonna hate it, yeah, which is fine. But like, it ain't even about that, right? But historically, most of these games were made by gamer bros. All right. They understood what the dudes wanted, what gamers wanted. That's why games were succeeding. Now they're getting like the the white liberal woman out there, okay? And, and they they are just trying to change the, the 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 recipe. And this is what they want. This is what they want. No wonder why the games quality are going downhill. No wonder why everybody hate them right now, right? Of course, there are some based female devs out there that are working on the games as well and it turns out to be very good i'm forgetting her name but she was a very big uh, writer actually very very good uh the one that uh was working at naughty dog before naughty dog went ultra woke uh she actually left from naughty dog she was the one that amy henning yeah amy henning amy henning yeah amy henning she was behind like uh, uncharted uncharted as well and uncharted was a really good franchise i believe she quit before Uncharted 4 or after Uncharted 4 because the company was getting into very very woke and apparently there uh, could be wrong but there were rumors that essentially in the right in the beginning Uncharted 4 you know Nathan right the, he, he has a daughter now in the game uh, but apparently they they had the plans for making 
uh, him have a son in the game so therefore in the future they could continue the the franchise but instead they went in the route of having a daughter in the game so there was like a whole lot of controversy like that as well so amy henning female based female and she made great stories and you know what fans loved her stories uncharted one of the most beloved franchise but this is what's going on right now and, and it looks like that game science the the dev team behind this game black myth wukong generally speaking i guess it's the gamer dudes that are trying to make games for the the gamers simple as that and guess what it's creative it looks amazing graphically speaking it's it's buzzing people are liking it and guess what i'll also beg to differ because these things always say that gamers are racist gamers don't like diversity gaming this game has diversity it doesn't feel like it has diversity but it has you know you're gonna play this game and you're gonna learn about somebody else's culture in the game because they always say no man gamers people people are racist they don't they don't want to learn others other people culture nah bro it, it ain't even about that it ain't even about that when you force diversity people hate it simple as that okay simple as that this game we're, we're gonna play this game and we're probably gonna learn about somebody else's culture i guess chinese culture which i have no knowledge of i guess i'm gonna check this game out I'm gonna learn a few things uh, as well and yeah the game is looking badass as well yeah, what are we talking about? Gamers are not against that. People, generally speaking, are against the idea of forced diversity and wokeifying the games and, and and making characters look like that. <laughs> and these things are not even leaving monkeys alone, man. That's crazy, bro. Everything to ruin your life because they just can't comprehend that crazy. other people out there in this planet live a different way than they do or see the world in a different light than they do, right? They cannot come to grasp with that. So at the end of the day, it is very clear that these kind of people are not reviewing video games in good faith. That's obvious, right? We pretty much know that from the fucking start. They are not reviewing games in good faith. And I had a meltdown about two of them in particular, not because they're females, but because they decided in their review to say that the game runs terribly, that it's laggy, it's glitchy, and it's buggy, but that they were playing, one of them was playing on a PC Bruh. that wasn't even up to snuff for the minimum specs because they didn't tell Bruh. us about the graphics card. They only told us about their processor, right? And the other one decided to review the PC version of the game on a handheld. So why are you reviewing a PC game on a handheld and complaining about graphics and complaining about performance and bugs and glitches and all that stuff when you're playing on literally the worst hardware you could possibly get your hands on? You're not even a PC gamer at that point, my guy. Like, you're trying to use a Switch, essentially, to try to do a PC game. Imagine reviewing a PC game and playing playing it on a handheld. Dog. That's what I'm talking about, man. These things are crazy, bro. These things are crazy, man. In review. So it's ridiculous. It's stupid. But it's modern day gaming journalism, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Check this one out. I want to show you this clip here. Shout out to the homie Dread Roberts. A uh, very uh, quick clip. But now they're seeing that the media not only smears Chinese game developers over practically nothing, but they're constantly running damage control for their own articles and trying to hide these facts from everybody else. They're constantly omitting the facts that matter, the people who perpetuate these lies at all. And now people in China are getting upset. China vloggers are livid with Western gaming reviews that are giving Black Myth Wukong high but lower scores than Chinese games media. Now, of course, your opinion may vary on what score this game... Yeah, if any of my Chinese homie watching this video, don't worry, man, my non-existent cat right here... Uh, yeah, this is my non-existent cat right now giving the giving all of them. I'm just trying to find the right one here Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? There yo! we go. Yeah, giving them the yo Right now. Okay, we got you homies. We got you game should have but the more people that talk about what the media has been saying about the game all of this negativity and all these lies that are being spread the chinese people have picked up on that and now they're criticizing western media because they feel yeah. that this game is being reviewed unfairly and it's such an insane situation that the west is guilty of and it sucks yeah, because Ch china number one man never thought i would say this china number one china number one i know that a lot of this stems from the need to push dei but without further ado let's take a look at this pr consultancy firm that this person works for people first creativity our purpose is to deliver creative work that makes a positive cultural oh, and commercial go. impact now looking at this at face value it doesn't really look like much but if you dig a little deeper you'll know what their agenda is and this agenda that they have they share with a lot of other consultancy firms that you've probably heard about before with themes and concepts that you absolutely despise they are parroting these exact themes it says being people first we believe that team diversity enriches our collaborative culture and our work for clients we are keen to meet candidates from all backgrounds so please get in touch if your skills experience and attitude match ours they've worked for companies like burger king and max and tesco they've worked for a lot of companies what a huge rap sheet they have under their belts now if you take a look at one of their blog posts the mask begins to slowly slip off and you can see that they're trying to be clever here because they say equity diversity and inclusion and update usually it's like diversity inclusion and equity or inclusivity right so dei so it spells out die right dei now they did edi damn they yeah they're smart though they're smart though because people were trolling them with that
technically it's DEI. It's just that the E and the D are switched out. They say when it comes to equity, diversity, and inclusion, EDI, it could seem to the casual observer that following a burst of noise back in 2020, industry activity may have slowed. And they explain how they've been championing equity, diversity, and inclusion by saying, Yeah, they changed it to EDI right now. Damn, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it is no longer DEI. It's uh, it was yeah diversity, uh, equity, and inclusivity. My bad. It was not like but but it still spells out like die right. But no, it's EDI, EDI, yeah. Meanwhile, we also have the Diversity Matters team, which has been working on our always-on approach to celebrate and educate us all on a spectrum of diverse topics, celebrations, and observances from South... Now, listen, diversity do matters. Forced diversity is the problem here, okay? Like, this game is... It, yeah, like, it's not a, a Western game. And guess what? People are not mad. People are happy. So, this goes to show you that people are open to the idea of uh, pe learning about other people's culture and uh, playing a different game and, and learning about a different story or playing a different story or trying out a game not made here in the USA or North America, for example, right? Yeah, like people are open to the idea. Like, what are we talking about? Like, these suckers are crazy, man. These suckers are crazy. South Asian Heritage Month and LGBTQ Plus History Month. Oh, brother, to Rosh Hashanah and Diwali. The team does its utmost to make sure everyone in the company feels included, celebrated, and appreciated across all backgrounds and characteristics. And their goal? To recruit into their movement. And that is something I've seen being pushed immensely by other PR firms. Recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. Yep, that's their big MO. Just, recruitment is one of the areas where equity, diversity... I guess uh, this is what they want. I, th this is, this is uh, what's needed in the game right now. Yeah. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened. We had really good leaks for GTA 6. Heist leaking out. We also got a bunch of other gameplay stuff as well. Check out this video on the screen. And I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.